Connor, first of all, welcome to Barnet Football Club. How does it feel to get the deal done? Yeah, buzzing. Um, as soon as, as soon as Dino got in contact, um, it was something that I wanted to do. So just really, really pleased to be here and excited to get going. Really, yeah. You uh, you started your career at, at Watford, um, and obviously have, have had uh, leng lengthy spells throughout throughout the English football pyramid and in Championship, League One, League Two. Can you uh, talk us through your, your career to date? Yeah, as you said, I um, come over at 16 from Ireland, signed for Watford as a youth team lad. Um, enjoyed my time there. I was there for a very long time. Um, obviously, got my first year pro under Sean Dyche, and then in that summer after uh, the big takeover happened with the Italian owners and Zola come in as manager, and then fortunate enough had a really good pre-season. Got a, offered a four-year contract in the pre-season and made my debut first game of the season against Crystal Palace away. So, and then I'd done played played I believe ten games until I got um, a bad injury that summer or in November. But yeah, very successful time there, especially that year we um, just missed out on promotion by losing the playoff final. Um, played sporadically for over three years that I was there, uh, and then, then ended up moving on. Moved on to Wimbledon in the January. I had six months there where we were fortunate enough to get promoted from League Two. We won the playoff final against against Plymouth. I was lucky enough to start in that game, and then in that in that summer I actually signed for Plymouth, who we just beat, and again had another successful year. Played played 35 times, I believe, for Plymouth, and we come second in the League Two and, and got promoted again. So. Yeah, I had, had some really good spells. Obviously, I had loans in between at Watford, but they'd be the, the notable times really with the with the promotions at Wimbledon and Plymouth, and obviously my time at Watford as well. Yeah, you, you spent last season at Boreham but why is, why is Barnet Football Club the the, uh, the right club for you at this moment in time? Um, to be fair, obviously it's, it's always been a great setup. I've always enjoyed coming down here when I've played against them, and when when obviously Dino called, I've worked with him in the past. Had some very successful times with him personally and as a collective. We obviously won the National League set up at Wilson and had an unbelievable start in the National League um, for the first six months also. So I know what he offers as a manager and he obviously knows what I offer as a player. So I've had some probably some of my best football was played under him. So hopefully I can do the same again here and replicate that success we had together. There's a little fun fact about you came second in uh, Football's Next Stars on, on Sky One a, a good few years ago. Can, can you talk us through, through that experience? Yeah, yeah, a long time ago now, 13 years ago I believe. Obviously I was only a 16 year old lad. Um, yeah, just there was an advert on the TV. Me and my pal decided we'd go for the trial that was held in Dublin. They were held obviously all across the UK and just kept getting through stages really. It wasn't a case of going up and expecting much. It went up and had a laugh and then got through to the next stage and just kept yeah, kept ticking along and ended up coming second as you said. So um, when I look back now, it is embarrassing. You look back at yourself as a young lad, I think everyone does. You think, oh, it's, it's, it's cringy, but it's I wouldn't change it as part of my journey. It's how I ended up getting to Watford, obviously as a 16 year old and obviously where I am now. And obviously you've got um, international experience as well for Republic of Ireland at uh, uh, youth level. How, how do you feel that that experience is going to help you uh, during your time here? Yeah, that was obviously fairly enjoyed my time with, with the international setup. I played, luckily enough, I played for every age group from under 16 to under 21 um, with some great players. And um, international football is slightly different, I'd say, to to pretty much most league. Any club football, really, you can notice that when it is international breaks, but um, it still brings a good experience. And I've played with Mexican players throughout that setup, so I'll just try to bring as much of my experience as I can to the group. Things and manager you, you worked with before at Wealdstone, but what's he said to you uh, since coming here? Um, to be fair, just I, I know I know what obviously I expected from Dean. He um, he plays some good foot, plays really good football. Um, that was the main the main back of behind. Obviously, at time at Wealdstone, we played excellent football. Had had really successful time there, and I know he's I know what he's trying to do here, and I believe in what he's trying to do and the project and plan he's putting together. So. Obviously, it's been some excellent signs, so I'm just pleased to be here and get going. Obviously, I'm hoping for a successful year with him. And how would you uh, describe yourself as a player? Uh, so I'm centre mid. I uh, like to get around the park. Uh, probably need to add more goals to my game, but I'd say very technical. But obviously, I like to put a foot in as well. So that's what I, that's what I like to think. Very very honest and work hard. Yeah. Okay, you could also talk us through your your aims and uh, ambitions for for your time here. As I said, with the players we brought in and obviously the success I've had in the past, I think. Going into any season, it should be promotion or at least knocking on the door of playoffs. So I think it'd be silly of me for, for that not to be the, the goal for, for this group that we have. Yeah. Having got the deal done now, how much are you looking forward to, to getting uh, in, in amongst the, the fixtures and uh, back with the lads uh, for pre season? Yeah, really excited. Obviously, I know a few of the boys anyway from, from throughout my career anyway. So just excited to meet up with the lads, get going, get the shirt on, get playing. Yeah, obviously, it's, a, it's an important time of season trying to get fit. Um, so just utilise as much game time as I can, get some minutes in the legs and make sure I'm good to go come the 6th of August. And have you got a message for the uh, Barnet supporters? Uh, no, nah, just, just obviously, as I said, really, really pleased to be here. Um, 
I said we're going to need it. We're going to need their support if we're going to do what we want to achieve this year. So just excited to be here, excited to meet them um, when, whenever the first game that I'll play here is. So just, as I said, delighted to be here and can't wait to meet them all. Connor, thanks for your time and all the best uh, for your time here at Partner Football Club.